Heracles, also known to us as Hercules, which is the Roman version of the name that I will be reading in the Greek fashion using the Greek names for the hero and the god. Heracles was the baby son of Zeus and a mortal woman named Alcmene. Hera, Zeus's wife, was very jealous of his love for this baby. So, wasn't too nice, but she sent two serpents to try to get rid of the baby. Little baby Heracles, however, was pleased with the little serpents as they slithered into his crib, and he playfully grabbed them. But his strength was so great that as he grabbed them, he killed them. Alcmene awoke to find her infant son holding two dead snakes. She was understandably horrified, but she realized that Zeus had given him the strength of a god. Heracles grew, and so did his strength. His strength made him very famous, and people always came to him for help. Heracles single-handedly defended Thebes against an invading army. The king was so pleased that he gave his daughter to Heracles as a wife. He and Megara were very happy together. They had three children, but Hera had not forgotten. She still hated Heracles. She put a curse on Heracles, and he went out of his mind insane and violent for a time. He believed his wife and children were enemies, and in this state he murdered them. When he realized what he had done, he was devastated. He went to the priestess of Apollo to ask what he should do for forgiveness. She told him, You must go to King Eurystheus. Do whatever it is that he tells you to do, and you will be forgiven. Heracles immediately went to the king. This king, however, was a devoted follower of Hera, and Hera easily influenced him to make the labor into twelve labors and to make them as difficult as possible in hopes to get rid of Heracles once and for all. But these twelve labors are another story.